Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Alex, this is AMRC, and today I have my old hobby zone champ. <sighs> it's been a while since I flew this. It's a bit dinged up because this was actually my first small plane. Not my first one, but my first uh, micro sized. And I learned a lot about flying with this. I even broke the wing, wing once, Ooh, it's a bit windy, and after that I fixed the wing and I did this uh, mod with magnets to hold the wing on, it just pops on, really strong so it won't uh, fall off, but in a crash it does come off, that usually saves the wing, so yeah, simple three channel, no ailerons, 1S brushed motor, Let's see if uh, this thing still flies. Okay, let's see if it will take off under its own power. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit squirrely. And up it goes. Woo so no gyro in this, no safe. No yeah, it's 3x. Ooh. And I think Horizon should still be making this hobby zone. It was really great. Ooh. It's a bit down on power. I think that motor is getting old. <laughs> And the batteries as well. And this was great for me to learn. It was the first plane I ever did, did a loop on. And I'm a full throttle and yeah, it's flying. So what can I say who? Okay, turn around. Needs a bit of uh Aileron input with that rudder. Oh, sorry, a I said aileron. Elevator. So besides the throttle on the left stick, the elevator and the rudder are on the right stick. And I saw Hobby Zone released uh, two new airplanes in the past few weeks. I think it was a Cub and a P-51. So 1S and ready to fly, but major downside, it's they're not DSMX. That was really a bummer for me. And that's because I got this uh, ready to fly. And even though it came with one of those short range toy like transmitters, it is a DSMX. So I'm flying on my NX10, no problem. And that's what actually got me into Spectrum. I got this, then I saw they had the Champ S Plus. I think it was discontinued at the time I got it, but. I knew I needed a DSMX transmitter, so I bought a Spectrum for the first time. And I still use a transmitter that came with this ready to fly to body box with my son. It works uh, perfectly and it's small enough for him to hold. Oop. And it's down. And there was a bit of a gust. <laughs> Ooh, let's go see where it is. Here it is. And as I said, that magnet mod works. No damage, I think. It's a bit cloudy in here, but yeah. Seems to be okay. Let me snap the wing back on. 
there it is. I think everything still works. Let me get out of this field. <laughs> Whatever it is, wheat or... I don't know, it's pretty tall. Almost up to my chest. Good thing I found it. I could move the control surfaces in here it because otherwise it would have been a bit hard to spot. Okay, I'm back on the road and uh, I noticed I flew it for four minutes pretty much full throttle. Uh, the batteries I have are pretty old, five, six years old, so <laughs> they're not in the best shape. But I have another one charged, so I'm gonna give this uh, another go. Let's try and fly again. Okay, let's go for a hand launch this time and see how that goes. Full throttle. And it's up. Oh, I forgot to reset my timer. Okay, I did that now. Should I try a loop with it? Uh, I tried, but doesn't have enough grunt. I've learned so much with this airplane. Just controlling it. There's a bit of wind there. Oh yeah, it's a shame. They don't have a ready to fly package like this anymore. They have the night vapor and that's pretty interesting. I mean, I will probably get that at some point. But for that you'd need really, really no wind, I've heard. This one can take small gusts. Actually lost it due to wind and the stock transmitter it came with. Because it didn't have really long range. And the wind just flew it away, but luckily I found it. That was also another reason I decided I need uh, full size, full range transmitter. Yeah, so I see what uh, Horizon and Hobby Zone are doing with these new ready to fly birds. I think they're trying to counter the Chinese brands. I don't know if it's possible. They might even be the same uh, airplanes from what I've seen. They use this uh, similar setup with a uh, servo for the ailerons, both ailerons in the center. So yeah, at least they're four channel. That's a good thing. And the same type of battery, so... Yeah, Horizon might <coughs> just be rebranding. Ooh, Chinese birds, so I don't want to walk in that field again. Try to keep it closer to the road. But hey, it's what drives the hobby competition. Also, innovation. Let's hope we see more and more products, more innovations, lower prices that will encourage people to get started in this hobby. And that's great. Okay, see a truck coming, so let me try and land this. I still can. And it's under the car. Still have two minutes on the timer, but oh well. There it is, guys. Hobby Zone Champ. Great flyer, as it says on the wing. It means a lot to me, so I like to fly it every now and then. Let me know if you had one. You know, many of you probably did. It's uh, great for me. Test. Let me know what your experience was or is with this. Leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!